Hello everyone, I am Reza, a PhD candidate at University of Technology Sydney. I am working in the School of Electrical and Data Engineering in University of Technology Sydney, UTS Sydney, Australia. Uh, I'm working on power electronics and I'm beginning to introduce one of my uh, PhD projects at single stage 5 level switch to grid connected inverter for this research presentation um, uh, project for uh, this competition, uh, IES a prestigious competition. So the proposed structure has been illustrated in this slide. As you can see, the structure has been made of uh, uh, nine active power switches. And uh, uh, it has a single stage design. So as opposed to the conventional solution, uh, the structure doesn't have separated and isolated DC-DC converter associated to the uh, DC-AC stage. All these two power processing stages have been integrated to each other as a single stage design. So uh, here, each cell, upper and lower cell of the converter can generate three level output voltage waveform. So in total, we can generate five level output voltage waveform. We have two uh, capacitors that are self-balanced and also two inductors. One of them is in the input inductors that have a volt, uh, that its role is to uh, make a voltage boosting uh, operation for all the converter. And the output filter also is uh, an, um, in order to uh, be interfaced between the converter and the grid. Uh, both the capacitors are self-balanced, but uh, the interesting point of the structure is the dynamic voltage boosting gain. So the switch S1 in this topology can adjust and possess different value of the duty cycle, feasible uh, duty cycle, to reach a uh, higher range of the uh, voltage boosting gain. So two different value of the duty cycle, we can adjust lower value of the input voltage to meet the peak amplitude of the grid. So uniform peak inverse voltage across all the switches, active power decoupling uh, to, uh, to further, further reduce the passive elements design, and bidirectional power flow capabilities are the remaining points of the structure. In order to con uh, con uh, connect the converter to the grid, we have used the grid uh, uh, voltage uh, sim uh, sim uh, simulator as the regard shot. So we can um, adjust the phase and amplitude of the regarton through the external respective software. In order to feed the converter, we have used the PV emulator. Since the structure is a boost-based topology, we have adjusted the value of the 90 volt as the input voltage, while the, uh, the, uh, boost, the uh, boost duty cycle is 70%. Here, we have designed our converter. This is two cell of the converter. The converter also can be extended for the three-phase design. So this cell is not at the moment working. So uh, it is the upper, it, uh, all, uh, this is the two cells. Here you will see the filter inductors. Here you can see the input inductors and also the measurement uh, the PCBs. Here we have measured the input voltage, the grid voltage, the injected grid current, and also we have used the DSP here to uh, provide uh, to provide uh, the required gate switching pulses for our switches. Here we have used the silicon carbide technology, so our switching frequency is 100 kilohertz. Since our structure can generate five level output voltage waveforms with 100 kilohertz, we can use uh, a small value of the passive elements in this board. So now at the moment, our converter can inject zero current to the grid. In order to show its main capability to reach, for example, 1K power from the PV emulator to the grid, I want to inject 7M peak of the reference, uh, the injected current to the grid. So here you will see the performance of the proposed topology. Uh, all the nine, uh, five level output voltage waveforms could be generated. The green trace is the grid voltage. The peak of the grid voltage is 311. And also the peak of the injected grid current, the blue trace is 7M. Here you will see that the input voltage is only 90 volt, while around 1K power has been generated, has been injected to the grid. In order to show uh, the reactive power support capability of the structures, we want to make change in the reference signal. So here you will see a bit uh, reactive power also could be injected to the grid. Here you can see the phase difference between the injected cu uh, current and also the grid voltage, while all the five level output voltage uh, waveforms could be generated. The input current also doesn't have any inrush spike, and the structure's overall uh, heat uh, temperature is less than 42 or 43 degrees that can uh, uh, guarantee the feasible operation of the structure. Uh, this is, a, is uh, a part of our project, and thank you very much for your attention.